What's inside the Square Enix Cafe Art Nia in Shinjuku, Tokyo? When you walk into the cafe, immediately to the right is the gift shop section, with a bunch of goods from every Square Enix franchise you could think of. Almost. Kingdom Hearts 3 was just released when I visited the cafe, so there's a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 merchandise here, and a lot of it is exclusive to this store. This The World Ends With You display is pretty cool, and I never saw anything else like that. But some of these other toys and figures I was able to find in other various stores around Akihabara. That's really As you can imagine, the things in the store can be a bit pricey, so bring your wallet and bring a bunch of cash or a card if you really want to buy a lot of things. The cafe had both English and Japanese cards for the Final Fantasy trading card game. And everything in this glass display here was unique to the store for sale for limited time only. Now we didn't get a chance to eat while we were here, and that was because Kingdom Hearts 3 had just come out and they were serving a special menu because of that. And we didn't know it at the time, but you had to make reservations beforehand on the internet, and then they would pick random people to actually get to sit down and eat at the cafe. So if you plan on going, definitely check out their website first and make sure there's nothing special like this going on when you want to come. Or else you'll be like us, and you'll just have to look at everything in the gift shop. Ooh, sparkly. And you will leave hungry. So much of this I've seen at new stores. It is true. <laughs> Now in this section, it's all soundtracks. Every single one of these are CDs for sale for pretty much every Square Enix game you could think of. Some of them are the game soundtracks, some of them are from the live orchestra, and you can even listen to them. Now this is the room to the left of the cafe. And it's really awesome, especially if you're a Final Fantasy VII fan, because they had a bunch of high-quality, really awesome statues on display of all the main characters from Final Fantasy VII. But as you could imagine, these are all very expensive. You can buy them for a good chunk this of change.
And here they have this display of materia and a waterfall that's coming down from the ceiling with crystals. It's very pretty. A nice touch to the cafe. And for the last part of the video, I go around and show what's in these other glass displays. There are more statues and other types of items. A lot of these things are special, limited edition. We have some jewelry for sale. If you want to pick up a piece of jewelry, bring at least $100. At least. There's also things like earrings and cufflinks here. You can see backpacks and bags, wallets, keychains, little teacups. This statue of Cloud was almost $400. Now I will say if you do want to pick this up, Check around Akihabara first because I did see this brand new in box for a little over 300 which is still pretty expensive. And this Moogle was about $120. But I really liked these Final Fantasy ties. You can be classy and nerdy at the same time. And this was another really beautiful statue. But that's about it for the Square Enix Cafe Art Mia. I showed all the displays and the only thing that's left was just a little bit of t-shirts. Hope you enjoyed the video.